going to present uh, two more compositions in another very traditional raga and uh, the first of these is uh, a traditional composition uh, that is we really don't know who composed it it's, it's a pretty old composition in uh, it's a description of lord krishna and uh, the mukhara starts on the let's see 1 2 3 4 antara starts on the sum i'm not going to tell you which matra the sthai mukhara starts on it's for you to figure out try and see which matra the mukhara or the sthai starts on it's a, a an informal assignment for you and as i said this is in rag ke that presentation arise here for instance nanda nandan is a nice word to play with
and second composition in uh, Kedar, which is also in Tintal, little faster though, more drut than this. It is a relatively uh, newer composition, it's about 100 years old maybe, uh, composed by Azmat Hussain Khan, whose uh, his signature was uh, Dilaranga, which appears in the second part of the composition. And here the, again the, the Mukhara is on the seventh beat and again there is interesting possibilities uh, because of the way the Mukhara is constructed. So it says, Main tosi, tosi nahi bolu bal mare. So the Mukhara could start with just with Tosi nahi bolu bal mare on the seventh beat or just bal mare. So the variation is possible here as uh, you will see when I present. Uh, Drut Bandishas 
are generally found only in Teen Thail and Ek Thai. And um, I'll present two compositions in Ek Thai. Both Drutlaya and both are relatively modern. The, the first that I'm going to be presenting is by Pandit Jagannath Bhak Rohit in Rag Lalit. And it has a very interesting mukhra. It goes Dhim Dhim Dhag Ja Ja Re Ja. Ja ja re ja, that's what it starts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ja ja re ja. Yera, yera, yera. Ja ja re ja. This was a composition of uh, Pandit Jagannath Bhaparohit, whose signature was Gunidas. And um, I'm now going to present a composition of his disciple, his Shushya, Pandit Siyar Vyas, whose uh, signature was Janaguni. And this is in Rag Bhageshri. Uh, again, the Mukhada is in a interesting place. It's actually in the uh, seventh part, seventh place. It's the middle of the Avartan. But uh, the Mukhra is structured in such, a, such an interesting Mukhra that it, there's a lot of variation possible in this. Yeah.
ഡാരു രംഗ മോപിനാരു രംഗ മോപിനാരു രംഗാരു never presented as a stand alone piece just as a song it is always the anchor for improvisation we will end this lesson with a, a rendition of a chota khayal in rag chaya nat by bhuvanesh konkali this bandish is a very well known one very popular composed by inayat husain khan of the late 19th and early 20th century whose signature was inayat and it appears in the antara or the second part of the khayal the words are jhana na jhana na jhana na 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 baaje bichhua i will first demonstrate it with the taal so that you can follow bhuvanesh komkali's rendition chaya nat so the composition is as i said set in teen tal and the mukhda starts on the sum beginning of the bandish which is not very usual the mukhda usually does not begin on the sum it leads to the sum but in this case it starts on the sum and it goes to the lower mandra pancham and gives it a very dignified kind of uh, feeling so this is one of the as i said very uh, iconic compositions let us listen to bhuvanesh komkali rendering this bandish you might want to follow how he is using the bandish as an anchor 
for improvisation. Na 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 na